Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Swift Programming for Beginners. I'm Koda Shah. As usual, before we proceed with today's lesson, please go to https repl.it slash languages slash Swift. In today's lesson, you're going to learn about class. You're going to learn how to declare a class and create instances of that class. So let's get started. So what's a class? Previously, you can create a constant or a variable and store a single value. You can create a constant and a variable and you can store a range of value using range operators. But sometimes you need to store a representation of a complex object. Let's say, for instance, you need to store a representation of a cat. So for this, you need to declare a class because a class allows you to have variables which uh, describe the properties of the object that you're trying to represent. And you can also have functions. When you associate a variable with a class, that's known as a property. When you associate a function with a class, that's known as a method. So I'll just go uh, and create a class now. Alright, so here is a simple class declaration. We use the keyword class. This is the name of the class. Normally we use uh, capital letters to begin class names. And here are the properties for this class. So it has a string property name. It's the name of the animal. Uh, we have the sound it makes, which is also a string. You have the number of legs. Um, this is slightly arbitrary. I just put that there so that I can show you that I can represent an integer or a floating point number. And finally, we have got breeze oxygen. Again, this is just to show you that you can have uh, Boolean values as properties. Now here, I have a method. I use the keyword func. The name of the method is make sound, and the only thing it does is it prints the contents of the sound property. So this is uh, the class declaration. So to make an instance of this class, this is what we do. And after we've made the instance of this class, we can access the properties by using dot syntax. And we can also use dot syntax to call the method and execute it. Let 
Let's see what happens when I run it. Now at the moment, you don't see anything much. The reason is because the instance has been created, but you have not set the values for each of the properties. So it's just printing out the default values. So the default value for the name is an empty string. The default value for the sound it makes is an empty string. Uh, the default value for the number of legs is zero, and the default value for breeze oxygen is true. Okay. And when you ask it to make the sound, it will print the contents of sound, which again is an empty string. So you'll need to assign values to the instance. Now let's run it, much better. So you can see I am printing out all the properties and I'm calling the make sound method and the make sound method is printing out the contents of the sound property. So you get mute. Now this is somewhat cumbersome because I have to create the instance and after I create the instance, then I have to assign values uh, to each of the properties. It's much better when you create a class uh, that you assign the values at that point of creation. It's, uh, it makes it easier. So to do that, we are going to implement a initializer. So here's the initializer. So an initializer is just another method. The purpose of the initializer is to create a valid instance of the class. So I'm going to take in four pieces of information, the name, the sound it makes, the number of legs, and uh, whether it breathes oxygen or not, and I'm going to assign it to the properties. Right. So now when I make the instance of the class, I can just assign the values immediately. Okay. Then I no longer need to do this, so I can take this out. Let's see what that looks like. So for an initializer, you use the keyword init, and in here, normally you would put in all the uh, arguments for the properties that you wish to initialize. So self here means that name is referring to the property. And here, this is the argument. Same is repeated. So basically, <coughs> what that does is that you get a name, you get a sound, you get number of legs, you get an oxygen, breathe oxygen, and you assign it to the properties of the class. So let's run this. This is what the uh, creation of the instance looks like. So when I run it, I should get exactly the same results. And I do. Okay. 
So that's about it. We've come to uh, the end of this lesson. For an exercise, maybe what you can do is you can try create an instance uh, of your car. Uh, sorry, a, a declaration for vehicle such as car, uh, and create an instance to of, to represent your car. When uh, we come back on next Monday, you'll learn about subclasses, and you'll also learn about uh, how you can override superclass methods. Until then, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.